This one is just a simple way to make some tasty burritos using Jerusalem artichokes. We're going to have some for dinner tonight. They'd work great for a breakfast burrito too. And just a way to start introducing, you know, what we grow now that we're growing Jerusalem artichokes into our diet a little more. All right, stay tuned. Alright guys, Papa Pepper. Today I'm just going to show you how we make a simple, pretty much a breakfast burrito out of Jerusalem artichoke. And um, got some stuff going in the pan right now, but we're going to actually be eating it for dinner. So all I did is I rinsed the Jerusalem artichokes and I broke off some of the knobs um, just to get the dirt from in between them. And then when you slice them up, it gives you a good opportunity to make sure that there's no wormholes or things through them because uh, various, you know, pests in the garden can bore holes through them and make them yucky on the inside so it gives you a good chance to inspect them. So all we're really doing is taking them like you would some American fries or potatoes that were diced up and mixing them in with some meat. Um, the meat we actually got tonight is a buck that broke its back on some barbed wire. So that I tried to cut through some barbed wire fence actually broke its back and was laying on the ground kicking around one of the neighbors had uh, one of the neighbor boys come out and shoot it. And then he dropped it off and said, hey, do you want this? And I'm like, well, I don't not want it. And actually this meets kind of the fly strips. So they've got these thin sections of muscle that they can twitch to kind of get the flies off them. A lot of people just throw it out. We like to use it, so that's all we're doing. I mean, feel free to make a vegetarian or vegan variety if you want. Feel free to get sirloin beef tips or something, but that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna saute these two together with the seasonings and then I'll show you how we do them up. So I got these guys going right now. I mean, once you know the smell of cooked sunchokes, you'll, you'll know they're just about getting ready. There they are. Yeah, bugger. And we keep those warm in the oven. So it's got the oven on warm right now. And this will almost be ready here. So again, this is just kind of a simple, you know, kind of spin on like a meat, potato and cheese breakfast burrito. Like I said, we're having it for lunch. It's just a little bit of venison, Jerusalem artichokes. I got some sharp cheddar we'll put in and we'll just wrap them in some flour tortillas and get them ready for our dinner. But this is just about cooked. Um, you can eat them raw too. So as long as your meat's cooked, you know, there's not a lot of room for error, but a little bit more and this will be ready to go. So I've got everything where I want at the moment. I will just, Show you the way I do this. I just need one plate. So the tortillas, nice, warm, soft, flexible. They won't break when I do that. Get my cheese. The warm tortillas will help. Put some cheese on there. Get your meat and sunchokes. Okay, depending on who you're making for, depends on how much you put on the inside. I put a little more cheese on top. And then roll them up. And I got this pan in back heated because if you got a pan heated a little bit, you can set it down, the fold side down, and it'll seal it for you and give it that nice little uh, browned look over the seal. So that's about it. We're going to do up a pile of these. I'll have some leftover stuff if anyone's still hungry after the burritos. And we'll be ready to go.
So at this point I'm just browning them like I said, getting them sealed, giving them that nice look to them, and uh, finishing them up. So Just a simple, tasty recipe. You know, a way to start using what we've got now that we're, uh, you know, growing Jerusalem artichokes and the way they introduce them into our into our diet. So, we definitely like breakfast burrito stuff like this. We definitely enjoy, um, you know, with the meat and the cheese. So that's a good way just to kind of swap out one of the ingredients like you normally with the potatoes. And I like these too because unlike a potato that you can't really enjoy raw, you can enjoy these raw and they cook a lot quicker. And I'm looking forward just to having this for dinner tonight. So. See you guys next time. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.